All right, guys, let's save some history. I've been working at trying to get the apron off of the front of the, the saddle here. And uh, these screws got really big slots in them. And I didn't have anything that was even remotely close. But I just happened to have this chisel, as strangely shaped as it is, with a point and everything. It actually fits in there really good. And uh, I was able to break them all loose. I need to make myself up or find a, a proper screwdriver for that size. So I'm not going to take them all the way out, but I do want to get them all sort of loosened up. They've been in there a long time. They're a little sticky. i got a jack here. I think I might be able to use that somehow to get this thing off of here. Maybe not. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it wants to reach all the way up. I think when I put this thing back together, all these, every screw I put on, that's something that's going to stay there for a long time. I think that's going to probably get some anti-seize put on it. And that'll make it much easier to do service work on this thing in the future. In the next hundred years, when some other poor guy is complaining about what I've done to it, these up a little bit and then see if this thing won't come down some now it should just drop away yep it's dropping down I'm sure there's some kind of dowels or something for alignment here okay. oh. I don't seem too heavy maybe I can just hold it up with my knee all right, I won't bore you with taking all these screws out. We'll come back when we're getting ready to drop it off. We got two of the screws out and these two here. I just have a few threads in there. I'm going to lower it down a little bit, make sure there's going to clear any dowel pins that might be in there for alignment. What if I can get my jack to let go? You know, it's funny, I don't see any dowels in there. Although I can't see very well either, but... Alright. <clears throat> Pull these out and see if we can't slide this puppy out of here. I'm just catching. the gear that goes up into the cross slide here to drive this thing back and forth so we're hitting that but I think I can just push these blocks out of here slip it out yep alrighty oh, there it is that definitely needs to get cleaned up a lot Take this carriage lock off. That's going to be in the way of getting the apron off here in a little while. Okay. That's a snug fit in there. That's a homemade nut for this. So this is probably not the original bolt either. certain that would have probably been a square head that would match my wrench but this we got something this is the clamp 
It holds the, uh, the carriage down onto the bed. And there should be a gib inside of here too. We'll make sure not to lose that. Uh, there was no, there was nothing complementing this on the opposite side by the apron. I don't know if that's normal, but I'm pretty sure that's the way this was made. I really don't see how it's adjusted unless there's a screw in the end. If it's a tapered, tapered gib, I don't see a gib here. Huh. Interesting. Well, I guess it's it's probably all the play is controlled by the pyramid ways up here. Keeps it from getting out of hand. Well, those come out of there pretty easy. All right, a lot of crud inside of there. All right, let's see if we can get the saddle off here. Everything holding it on is gone. Doesn't look super heavy, but it doesn't look very light either. Ah, that ain't so bad. All right, well, let's see if we can get this headstock off, or at least unbolted. There we go. There's one bolt here and one bolt on the back end by the change gears. At least all that I can see. What? Very sticky. You can see the clamp here. See if I can get my hand up inside there. Of course not. Oh, but there's all kinds of goodies inside of this. Oh yeah, got some fossilized swarf. Can't quite reach. Well, hopefully I can get it out from up here. Oh, well, you know what? I suppose once it's loose, probably we could just slide back. Let me try uh, loosening up the other bolt, see if that ain't, that ain't the case. I sure don't want to move. <laughs> Well, I'm guessing you're probably going to have to because if this screw don't come out real quick, it's going to bottom out on the casting. That might actually be a good thing. We can jack it up off of the blaze a little bit. Well, 
it's free. Let's see if it'll slide this way. It does not seem to want to slow up. I imagine it has to. All right, well, we're going to leave that just the way it is for a moment. Let's see about maybe getting this reversing gear off of here. Okay, well, I was trying to was trying to turn this nut right here, and it was driving the whole spindle and everything, so I put the um, back gear in. That should lock the system up. Hopefully enough to get that loose. Yeah, that works. Now this is definitely a modern nut. It's zinc plated. That is definitely not original equipment. All right. Oh, well, that come right off of there nice and easy, didn't it? Okay, and there's a keyway here. Boy, it's really worn bad, too. Huh. Oh. And I wonder where that goes to. <laughs> Slide in from the back side, I suppose. Well. Take this bolt out. See, whoop. see if that don't release this whole part. Interesting. The shaft comes in from the back inside this head. Oh, <laughs> all right. Oh, that's a quite a bit of work to get that in there. Huh. That's interesting. It seems like there should be a. Oh, I see what's going on. We got a sleeve here, this sits inside of it. And this is so that that bearing or the those gears can spin on it. I don't know how that gets oiled, but not very well probably. Well, if you guys like old equipment and uh, seeing how to get it fixed up, why don't you click on the uh, subscribe icon over here, picture of the old horizontal mill, and uh, check out these other videos that are coming up here in a second, and uh, we'll see you around.